it's two in the morning. Lighting is bad. I did a hair remover on my hair and it turned blue. It actually kind of turned silver and I'm kind of vibing with it, but I wanted to point that out because yeah, whatever. Um, I'm exhausted, but I literally just finished making all of my Patreon stuff, everything. This entire box is just full of the February items for my Patreon subscription box. So made these a couple days ago. This is just a little slip for what is inside of the box. So the items that were in the box this month is this little planted heart pot here, a squishy stress ball pal, and a candy heart keychain. So each box has one of those in it and also a squishy and some random stickers. So yeah, here they all are. These took the longest. I wasn't expecting them to take as long as they did. So that's kind of my fault. Honestly, my patrons get Pretty much a steal because these things are definitely worth well over what they're paying for it. I'm also kind of overworking myself with the amount that they're paying too so I need to kind of look into making things that don't take as long because it is kind of wearing me out a little bit I'm not gonna lie because like literally this tub is like completely full just of crochet stuff that I've made in the past couple of weeks. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start packing the orders because it's two in the morning, like I said, and I wanna go to sleep. Okay, so I have nine of the Patreon orders. So nine ship labels I've already printed out. And then I also have a couple shop orders as well, but those are going to be done this weekend and shipped on Monday because it is currently the middle of the night on Saturday. I'm hoping everything will fit in these designated Valentine's <laughs> things that I bought because I specifically bought these things for the Patreon box and I realized I ordered the wrong size. Actually, you know what? At least this is going to go in a plastic bag because this is a little bit more fragile. And I have these extra bags. All of the orders have been packed and I'm going to bed. All right, guys, it is the next day. I just got home from work. All of my Patreon orders were shipped out this morning, so everybody should start getting them beginning of next week, hopefully before the end of the month. So I'm super proud of myself for getting everything done. So usually I kind of have a routine that I do now. So the first like three weeks of every single month, I spend that time doing Patreon and shop stuff or making items for my shop and stuff like that. And then for the last week of every month, I do try to make something for myself or for somebody else. So I want to make something for myself this week. Um, I am making something else that I'm going to show you in a second, but first, but first, I have the biggest yarn haul I have literally ever done in my life. Um, I have, this box that's full to the brim of yarn. I have this box that's full to the brim of yarn and also this huge bag full of yarn 
right here. I ordered all of this from Joann's. They're still having their incredibly amazing sale right now, so I'm really taking advantage of it. My scrunchie sales have been doing so well that I figured it was time to invest in some new designs and colors since you guys are enjoying the scrunchies so much. Um, I have sold probably like 20 scrunchies now, which is incredible, and I do like making them, so that's really fun. So I'm going to show you guys all of the yarn. I don't remember how much I spent on everything. It was well under $150 because I did have coupons and half of this yarn was like half off than the usual price. I'm going to show you the yarn, show you what possible plans are for the yarn and then we're just going to continue with my little crochet vlog. And also, I don't know if I mentioned my hair. I didn't film it, so yeah, my hair came out silver. <laughs> I uh, had pink and purple hair, if you guys remember. I put a color remover on it. The color remover turned my hair dark blue. And then after I did the rinsing and shampoo process, now my hair is like a periwinkle silver color. And my roots are still, you know, there. But I think it looks more... It looks nicer with my roots grown in. I think it looks more natural. Um, but yeah, I'm like really loving it. It was like an absolute hair mistake, but the mistake came out beautiful and it came out a color that I've always wanted. So I'm living for it. So that's, that's my new hair. It doesn't really look that great in this lighting because the sun is setting, unfortunately. But anyways, back to things that aren't hair related. I guess I'll go through this bag first. So this was just packages that I got that came in poly mailers instead of boxes. So I just threw them in this bag. So the first items I got were these big twist cotton yarn. I bought these because they were like a dollar 15. They were super affordable, not realizing that they were this big, but it's still 107 yards each and it's medium weight yarn. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to make out of this yet. I don't buy cotton too often for some reason. It's just not something that I typically grab, but I got this beautiful stunning orange color. This is in the color Tangerine Splash, which is really fun. If anybody has any ideas of projects that I can make with any of this yarn I'm showing, please feel free to give me ideas. And then I also bought these two in this stunning color. It looks prettier on the computer, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of very muted. It is very pretty, but I honestly don't know what I would use it for. And I might include these in a giveaway, a crochet giveaway that I'm doing soon. So I don't know if I'll use these, but these are in multi rainbow, which I do think is very pretty. But then we have this yarn right here, which I'm actually super, super excited about. So I don't know how long this yarn came out, but Red Heart came out with these granny square yarns. So basically the yarn is perfectly like sectioned out by color to make the perfect granny square. And I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on it and it seems really fun. So I got three of them. I, I feel like I got another one too, but maybe not. I don't know if I still have packages on the way. I literally ordered so much yarn, I don't even know. But these are the three colors that I got. So what I plan on doing with at least one of these is I want to make myself a granny square sweater to go to the zoo next week. So I'm trying to decide which one I want to do. I think I'm going to do this one, but I'm not sure. This is in the color Carnation Code, which is very fun. This is in the color Citrus Twist. Beautiful. And then this one is in the color Pink Punch. So I'm definitely going to be making some grainy squares out of this. Here's what the front of it looks like. Very excited. Now we're moving on over to this little box right here, which has my favorite yarn in it now. So during the first Joanne sale, I did a little bit of a haul in my last crochet with me vlog, and I hauled this pom-pom yarn, and I hauled the green one. I became absolutely obsessed with it, and it's like my favorite yarn. I'm not even joking, I love it so much. So here's what it looks like. It's basically uh -huh. chunky yarn, chunky blanket yarn with pom-poms in it, little like glowy pom-poms. So I got two of the blue. This is electric blue. So beautiful. I, I don't even know what I'm gonna make out of these. Like I think I wanna make a bunch of like Kindle poofs with these because I feel like it's so fun, but I also wanna make scrunchies with these too, but I don't know how well this yarn would do as a scrunchie. This is polyester which I think is the same as the blanket yarn. Let me look. Okay, blanket yarn is also polyester, so it might do well as a scrunchie. I don't know. I just had to buy them because I'm obsessed with them. Then you can guess it. I got another shade of it as well. Uh, this is the black one. I'm obsessed with this one. I want to scream every time I see it. It is so cute. It is in Neon Nights. It reminds me of a roller skating ring. 
it reminds me of like being a kid reminds me of the bowling alley as a kid i am obsessed with it it's black with like little neon pom-poms in it so cute uh, then i got another shade with neon pom-poms and this is in let's glow so cute i don't even know if i said the brain this is the premier parfait chunky pom-pom and then I also bought more of this yarn here. I fell in love with it when I used it for my Kindle poof that's sitting back there. I don't know if you could even see it, but I fell in love with this and I'm definitely going to continue using it. Um, I really like Premier's brand of just yarn. They have really pretty yarn that's 100% my style. And this is the like flower line that they have. And this is in tulip. There's little pink tulips in the yarn and it's super soft. All right, now I have just all the yarn piled in here. I'm really excited to organize all of this though. All right, now let's get into this huge, heavy, big box over here. This is where a lot of my bigger yarn is. But first I randomly bought this Lion Brand ice cream yarn just cause it is really pretty and it's pastel and I want to make something with this. I'm not quite sure what I wanna make yet, but it's just like the perfect spring colors. And this is in the color Love Potion. And then I got Karen's Simply Soft. This is their cotton, I believe. Oh no, this is their acrylic. My dog is squeaking his toy. This is 100% acrylic, but it just feels so much nicer than Red Hearts. Like I can't even explain it. It just feels so nice. And I needed a lilac purple, so I just went ahead and grabbed this in the color Orchid. Also, I just realized that these two go really pretty together as well. Might do something with these two. Let's do the velvet yarn. I've actually never bought velvet yarn before. Love velvet, reminds me of Juicy Couture. And I know Juicy Couture does have their own yarn, which I do want to try one day. But this is Bernat's velvet yarn. I either want to make Kindle poofs or scrunchies out of this. Leaning more towards scrunchies because I feel like as a Kindle poof, it might be a little bit too slippy for the Kindle to like slide off of it. So yeah, if anybody has any other ideas, maybe a pillow. This is in quiet pink. It's a very light, dusty pink, very beautiful. Then this is my favorite color green. Um, you might be able to tell from, you know, half of the furniture in here. This is my favorite color. Um, this is in pine. Beautiful, it reminds me of Christmas. And then this beautiful purple, and this is in gray orchid. So pretty. Can't wait to make scrunchies out of those for just kind of like muted colors because the rest of these colors that I'm about to show you, I bought specifically for scrunchies. I might do other things with them, but all of this blanket yarn, I'm going to just try to use for scrunchies only. So first we got this one, but I realized I accidentally bought the extra thick one and this is just way too thick for a scrunchie, I think. So I don't know what I'll do with this. And it's also way too neon and bright to make any type of like pillow or anything with it too, because that's not really like my vibe for home decor. So I genuinely do not know what to make out of this, but it is really cool. I might also include it in a giveaway. I don't know yet. But look at all the blanket yarn I have. Ah, okay. So let me show you the ones I've already showed you guys before. These are the two main designs that I am selling right now. I've sold a lot of these. So this is in Plum Fields. Um, I think I call it Plum Forest on my shop. And this is in the color Pretty Girl. So love these. Um, I have six Pretty Girl scrunchies that I actually need to make for my shop right now. Okay, next we have some more pastels, which I personally just love. So this one here, I wish the lighting was a little bit better. I'm sorry that it's really bad, but this is in Pitter Patter. I love that. This one right here is very bright. It's not showing as well on camera as it looks in person. It's kind of like a neon. It reminds me of very 80s colors. And this is in Jelly Beans, which these names are very spot on. These would also be beautiful baby blanket colors as well. And the rest of the colors are more for the people who just don't really like super pastel girly colors. These are just more kind of muted, but also still very cute. So this one is a personal favorite. I love this one. Definitely gonna make some for myself. This is in Sailor's Delight and it's definitely giving beach vibes. And then here are the last two. This one looks like this. Reminds me of like school for some reason. This is in Tourmaline. And the last yarn of this haul is this one right here, which is also a new favorite of mine. And this is in Plum Chutney. So I'm going to make a bunch of scrunchies in these. 
So I don't know if they'll already be for sale by the time this video is out. They probably will be. And that was my gigantic yarn haul. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas of what I could make with any of these yarns, please give me ideas. I want them. I have a lot of things that I want to make, but you know, it's nice to have some new ideas, especially with just like specific colors and stuff. Kind of want to make a purse with this one these two, but I don't know if I have enough, we'll see. So let me show you guys the project that I was working on at work today. So I am currently filming a Bearded Dragon cage makeover video for my pet channel right now. And I wanted to make some bridges for my Bearded Dragon. His name is Bowser, if you didn't know. And I found a pattern on Etsy on how to make a Bearded Dragon bridge that they can rest on. Started working on it at work today. I only worked a four hour shift. So this is what I got, got done in four hours with me also working in between. I definitely could have gotten a lot more done if I wasn't working, but I'm going to work on this for the rest of the night. I'm just using this red heart rainbow yarn that I have, which I lost the tags to. So I don't even remember what it's called, but it's so beautiful. Put the pattern from Etsy down below if you guys are interested and it's going to hang across the cage like this so he can rest on it. I'm also going to make another one that's gonna go on the side of his cage. That's gonna be like a big square that he can climb on as well. So that's the current project that I'm working on. And then the next project I'm gonna start is definitely my granny square sweater that I'm going to try to use the pattern from that retro crochet book that I bought and also work on making the scrunchies for the couple of orders that I've gotten in the past couple of days. And I guess we can go ahead and organize all this yarn and put it in my yarn organizer. So let's go ahead and do that too. Okay guys, it is the next day and it is 9.30 at night. Um, today I spent a little while finishing the bridge for my bearded dragon. So here's how it came out. It's very satisfying because I started with green and it also ended with green. So that was really nice. It's a little under four feet long, which is the perfect length to hang across my bearded dragon enclosure where it's also pulled pretty tightly so he can walk across it if he needs to. So pretty sturdy. Um, uh, the pattern didn't have the border around the outside, but I just felt like it looks more uniform that way. So I followed the pattern that I'll put in the description box below. And then I put a round of half double crochets all around the outside just to give it a little bit of a border, make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to be using this in the Bearded Dragon video that I am going to start filming for my pet channel, I think tomorrow, if I have time before work tomorrow. And then I worked on some scrunchies for some orders. So I needed to make three of these pretty girl scrunchies. I still need to make one more. And then I needed to make two of the plum forest scrunchies. So I'm going to be packing those orders later. So I need to make one more scrunchie. And then I just bought a pattern for a granny square hoodie on Etsy so I can start making my hoodie to hopefully finish by this Friday. It is currently Sunday, so I'm setting myself a due date to try to finish this by Wednesday. So from now on to Wednesday, I'm going to be working on this granny square hoodie nonstop. I have not looked at the pattern yet, so I don't know how many granny squares I'm going to need to make, but I'm going to be using my new yarn that I got and hopefully it is enough to make an entire hoodie. I don't think it is, but let's just hope. <laughs> All right, let's pack the next order, which is Natasha from Florida. Natasha ordered one pretty girl scrunchie. I do have some squishies left, so I'm gonna add this donut squishy and a cute Hello Kitty sticker. Put my little thank you sticker in the corner. Thank you so much, Natasha. Next order is Kendra from New Hampshire, I believe. And Kendra ordered two of the pretty girl scrunchies. I 
Thank you, Kendra. And then I'm caught up on all orders. Currently will be two of the Plum Forest scrunchies for, I don't know if it's Alyssa. It's spelled differently, but I'm gonna say Alyssa from California. Sorry if I said it wrong. <laughs> Alyssa, maybe. All three orders have been packed and now my shop is up to date and now I'm going to make more scrunchies because I believe that I sold out of my scrunchies. So that's exciting. All right, so I just went ahead and I printed out some of the patterns. So I found this granny hoodie pattern on Etsy. I'll put the link for it down below. Um, my printer is running out of ink, so it's not very pigmented, but there is what it should look like. And I am going to use this granny square yarn that I showed you guys earlier. So I'm going to use the Citrus Twist. I honestly hope one skein will be enough because I'll be using this plus white yarn together. So these are the two colors I'm gonna to use to try to make this hoodie. And unfortunately this yarn is pretty sought out right now. I was surprised I was even able to order it. So I can't find any that'll come within this week. So if I can't make the entire hoodie with just this and this, then I will make a vest instead of an entire hoodie. That's my plan. So a vest might be better, honestly, because we're coming up to spring and summer anyway, and it gets really hot here in Georgia. So honestly, I should probably be thinking about making a vest instead of a hoodie, but this is specifically for my visit to the zoo this week, and it's still supposed to be pretty chilly. So yeah, I printed out the pattern. Now I'm going to add it to my pattern binder. If you guys didn't watch my last crochet video, here is my pattern binder. I keep every single pattern that I use in here and it's already getting really heavy and really full. So I'm going to put this in my paid patterns section. So my paid pattern section is getting pretty big. I have a lot of patterns here. I feel like I'm going to start running out of space already and I've only had this binder for a week. <laughs> So good thing I bought four binders, but honestly, I'm gonna try to pack it full. So I paid for that one, so I'm gonna come back for it in a little bit. But then I scanned the QR code that was on this yarn here, and I'll keep it on the screen if you guys wanna scan the QR code yourself. And Red Heart has a bunch of free Granny Square patterns on their website um, when you scan that QR code. And there's a lot of really, really cute free patterns that they have to make with their yarn, which I think is incredible. So I found this little crochet backpack pattern that they had for free on their website. And I went ahead and I printed it out. And it's so cute, honestly. And I'm definitely going to use one of the yarns to make the little backpack because I've been wanting to make one, honestly. So this is really cute. Definitely might make it within the next month or so. So yeah, if you guys wanna scan that QR code, there was like a bunch of grainy square clothing items, which I just think is really great. And then this is going to go into my free pattern section because I didn't have to pay for this and it was completely free. My free pattern section is pretty small because I do like to support other small businesses and artists by buying patterns on Etsy. And I definitely want to print some of the other patterns too because they had some really cute pants, but that's the one that I want to make the soonest. I'm currently looking into doing an in-person market soon. I want to start in April. So there are a couple really big markets that happen in my city every single year, but I looked up the vendor fees for those and it's like 200 to $400 to rent the space just to sell. And as a small business, I just can't afford to drop $400 just to have the space, not even knowing if I'm going to sell anything. So those are just kind of out of the cards for right now. But there's some other smaller markets that happen in the downtown area of where I sort of live. It's, it's not super close, but it's close enough where I feel comfortable driving every week if I need to. And from spring all the way until August, um, every Saturday, they have a cute little market where people sell produce and craft items and it's really small it's only $25 to apply instead of 400 so I might start small with stuff like that and just pay weekly depending on what week I want to go sell and then try other markets in the future but I kind of want to do that because that sounds really fun and I've always wanted to do an in-person market but I've also been pretty anxious about it because like what if I don't sell anything or what if people hate what I'm selling or 
you know, there's so many things that could happen. And when you're putting your art out for people to critique and buy, kind of hard. Like when you're doing it online, you don't really have to hear what people's opinions are of your products. They just look at your shop and leave, typically. But in person, you're kind of like physically seeing what they're thinking about your art, which is like hard. <laughs> so I don't know. I definitely want to do that this year, though. That's something that I want to branch into. And that's something that I've been looking into. So if anybody has any advice, uh, if you sell at local markets, I would love some advice or just tips down below. That'd be very appreciated. But now I'm going to go lay in bed. It is currently 1130 p.m. I do work tomorrow, so I don't want to stay up too late. But I'm going to start this hoodie and I'm hoping by the time I go to bed tonight I would like to finish at least five granny squares. Okay I'm already getting into trouble using this granny square yarn. I'm following the exact pattern of a original basic granny square which is on this pattern that I bought and also the free pattern that they have on the back of the actual yarn itself. And it's still not lining up the colors like it should be. Like this is the first section. I even upped my hook from what it recommends. The yellow switches to orange all the way down here. I have this much yarn when this orange is supposed to start the next round. So I've been seeing a lot of bad reviews on it and I'm watching a video right now of somebody using it and it just doesn't seem like it's the best when it comes to making perfect granny squares, even though it's supposed to be. I'm still gonna use it. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear my fan, but I'm still going to use it. The granny square just won't be perfectly in switching color rows, but that honestly doesn't really bother me. I, I still think it's going to look cool. So I'm going to continue to work on this, but my granny squares aren't going to be perfectly symmetrical with new colors each row just because the yarn is not really allowing me to do it. Okay, I made my first granny square. So as you can see, the color changes are not consistent. Um, I'm sure I could try to um, experiment, but honestly I think it looks really pretty even with the color changes not being perfect. So as you can see, like the yellow turned into yellow after I did two clusters on row two. I don't know, it still looks pretty though. It looks like a sunburst effect. So the next granny square is going to start with orange and then slowly go into white, I believe. So... Yeah, I'm not quite too tired yet. It's only 12, 13 in the morning, so I'm gonna try to make a couple more. And according to this pattern, I need to make 32 of these. I don't know if I have enough yarn to make 32. If I don't, then I will start making squares out of colors that are incorporated in here and then just make like a pretty patchwork hoodie. All right, so it's 1.47 in the morning and I am going to go to sleep, but I wanted to show you guys my progress. So I ended up making six granny squares, more than I estimated to make. Um, I started getting faster towards the end once I understood what to do. None of the granny squares are lined up perfectly, but honestly, I think it makes them look really unique. And I like that they all look slightly different. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. I use the hook that's recommended. I use the pattern that they recommended. And I felt like my tension was pretty normal. And it just still didn't really line up great. There's like here you could see there was a little bit less with the color change. There was only a little bit into there. I'm not too sure, honestly. It's a weird yarn. Very frustrating. I'm going to go to sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's been two days since I last updated you. It is currently 12.30 in the morning on Wednesday and I need to finish this by tomorrow and it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna be done by the time I need to go to the zoo, but I'm still gonna try. I just genuinely don't think that I'll be able to get all of this done and block it and get it washed and everything before I want to wear it. So I'm still gonna finish it. Oh, and I just dropped all my granny squares. I officially have made 32 granny squares, two rectangles to go on my shoulders. So this took a long time. It took my entire red heart skein. Um, I made 25 granny squares with the red heart granny square skein. Um, and that's with doing these, this amount of rows here. And then after I ran out, I just started using the colors that I had sitting around that sort of matched the vibe. And I just started making ones that actually switch color at the right parts. <laughs> so yeah. 
we've got some ones that are a little bit more put together because they actually transition colors at the correct time. But now I am going to follow my pattern and I'm going to lay out all of these granny squares and start sewing them all together. This is just the body. I have to make 24 more squares for the arms and make the hood and the cuffs. But I'm not gonna finish by tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day and I stayed up till three in the morning sewing the front panels together. And then this morning I finished the other side. So here is the panels that I have. I just followed the amount that was recommended. So here's what it looks like. I've never made a hoodie or a shirt or a sweater or any granny square anything before. Like I genuinely don't think that I've ever made anything out of granny squares, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I also don't know if I'm following the pattern like I'm supposed to, but I think next I'm supposed to like sew these together and then we're gonna start making the sleeves. And then I also have to make like little triangles to go here to make this look more natural. Then there's gonna be like a two inch band down here as well. So it's gonna be a little cropped, which I do like cropped hoodies. I feel like it'll be a nice length where I can also wear it to work and it'll be appropriate with some high-waisted jeans and stuff. So the tops, I made purple. And like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing, but so far it looks pretty cool. So now I'm gonna try to follow the next parts of the pattern, which I think is making the triangles to go here. And then I think I'm supposed to start making the squares for the sleeves which is like 24 more squares. I'm not really looking forward to that. I don't know if maybe I should make the sleeves like just solid purple. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do because I feel like this is already a lot. So making the sleeves a lot too might be too much. So I'm thinking of maybe just making it like a solid color going down the sleeve. I don't know. I'm not a fashion designer.
Hey guys, it's March 2nd and I just woke up. But yesterday, what is my hair doing? Yesterday I went to the zoo and obviously I would have shown me finishing the hoodie if I actually did, but I gave up on it for now because I have been dealing with migraine for like a week or two. I don't know how long it's been now, but, and this was hurting my head just staring at it. I really love it, honestly. I think it's going to come out really cute. I'm just taking a break for right now and I'll probably work on it in a couple days. But deciding to do all single crochets on the sleeve probably wasn't the best idea to get the project done faster. I should have just done continuous granny squares. The granny square stitch just like all the way down is what I should have done. But I wanted to test different textures and stuff so that's that's my fault, but I really do like it. I will probably start working on it in the next video. For the rest of the day today, I am going to grind a bunch of scrunchies. I'm going to just try to make as many scrunchies as I can in all of the new colors. And I also want to try to make a couple Kindle poofs that I can put up for sale. So by the time you're watching this video, I should have them all up for sale if they haven't sold out already, because I do post my drops on Instagram before I post them here on YouTube, so. guys it is the night from the last time I was filming some footage of the scrunchies so I was able to finish two of the pine scrunchies with the velvet yarn absolutely obsessed with these like <laughs> can't wait to buy some more velvet yarn because this is truly the like perfect material for scrunchies and it's really easy to make scrunchies out of this yarn like there's not a lot of resistance when you're using it which I really like so I made two of the pine ones I made two of the pink ones and then I also made two of the purple ones and I put these all up for sale on Etsy and these already sold so I need to pack those orders and then these are still up for sale and then I'm going to and I posted all of the other colors I have as well so if you guys are interested in getting scrunchies there should be plenty up on Etsy um, because I plan on uploading this video tomorrow. And then I'm also, the next thing I'm gonna start working on is making a couple of Kindle poofs. So I really do recommend you guys following me over on my shop Instagram because over on there, I will post when new things go up for sale. I don't really post it on YouTube until it's a video. So, or you can favorite my shop on Etsy and on Etsy you do get notified when new products go up in my shop. So you can do that as well. I have a coupon code for my shop right now. If you buy two scrunchies, you get 15% off of your order to get more scrunchies or get something else from my shop. So don't know how long I'll let that sale go, but I do have the coupon. I'll put it in the description box down below for my shop. My Patreon subscription box for March is completely full. I'm so thankful. Thank you guys so much. Um, the theme for March is going to be plants and spring related, which I'm very excited about. I don't want to keep only uploading crochet vlogs because the past like three videos I think have been a crochet video. I am currently filming a diamond painting video right now. So if you're into my diamond painting stuff that is coming soon. And I also want to film other stuff as well. It's just right now, pretty much the only thing I do is crochet and work. Like I, my only hobby right now is crocheting. So that's just why I'm filming it the most because that's what I've been doing the most. So I hope all my crochet vlogs aren't annoying you. It seems like most of you guys are enjoying it, which I really do appreciate because I actually really do enjoy making them as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop this vlog here and start another one for the month of March. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, I'll have all of my social medias down below. I'll have the links for all of the patterns that I showed in this video. Hopefully I can finish the hoodie soon, but I just needed a break from it for sure but I really would love to finish it. I'll have my shop down below and I have a few items for sale on Etsy. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.